Hello, lambs. I'm here to pray for you wonderful lambs out there everywhere in the world that are being persecuted through any type of modern day slavery program and all over this world. So I'm going to pray Psalm 105 over you wonderful lambs and over myself as I'm being persecuted as well as the rest of you wonderful lambs out there. And I just want you to know that Jesus love you and I love you too. And I just want you to know that Jesus will never give up on you. He will never quit on you. He will never stop loving you. Jesus loves you forever, unconditionally and genuinely and sincerely and organically. So Jesus is forever with you and he will never leave you nor forsake you. And he will not reject you, oh precious lambs. And I just want you to know that I appreciate all you wonderful lambs out there that are listening to me on my podcast shows through Spreaker and all other Spreaker platforms, other podcasts through Spreaker platforms. I appreciate all the Spreaker listeners out there everywhere in the world. I appreciate all the YouTube listeners, Twitter listeners, and I appreciate all the other platforms out there that are listening to me from from Spotify. I couldn't hardly get that one out. I want to say Spotify, but Spotify. Thank you, Spotify listeners out there for your big support and your listening ears. Spotify. I appreciate your listening ears and your listening support of my podcast shows. Thank you so much. All you wonderful listeners out there, out there, whether you're lambs or not. (laughs) So anyway... I want to take the time to say, thank you, Father God. I give you glory and honor to you, Father God. I thank you for your goodness and your grace and your mercy. And Father God, I thank you for helping me to remember and your children to remember that you always keep your promises, Father God, the promises of your word, Father God. As we are about to pray over in Psalm 105 from the King James Version Bible, from your word, Father God, I thank you, Father God, that you are the God and the man of your word, Father God, that you always keep the promises that you make for your children, for your people, that you make for me in your word, Father God, as your child unto me. And you never go back on your word, Father God. You're faithful to keep your word, Father God, and the promises, Father God, that you make, Father God, and the benefits of promises and blessings that you have for your people, that you have for myself as your child, Father God, as your wonderful child that you have created, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I thank you, Father God, for your goodness and your grace and your mercy and your tender, wonderful blessings. Father God, and your favor upon your children and upon me as your child. And thank you for looking out for the persecuted lambs that are hurting, that are going through any type of persecution, through any type of modern day slavery programs of all types throughout this world. Father God, from children to adults, in Jesus Christ's name, and thank you for taking good care of your children and the persecuted lambs and myself as your child. And providing for us that you are our Lord and shepherd that we shall not want, Father God. And that you are protecting us from all evil, danger, and harm. And Father God, that you are delivering us from all evil, danger, and harm. And from evil spirited people and from witchcraft attacks, Father God. And that you're protecting us from witchcraft attacks and from all types of terrorism and danger and harm, Father God. And I thank you, Father God, that you are taking good care of us and providing for us and fending for us and fighting our battles for us as we hold our peace. You are fighting our battles in righteousness and you're bringing justice for us and liberty for us and vindication and compensation for us and restoration and rejuvenation for all your children for myself and for all the persecuted lambs everywhere in this world from children to adults that are being persecuted through different types of modern day slavery programs throughout this world Heavenly father god so i thank you for your word father god for the promises of your word i thank you for you father god that you are faithful and loyal to your people to the persecuted lambs and to myself as your child father god Thank you for keeping your word 
Father God, in my life and your promises in my life, Father God, that you are faithful to do miracles in the lives for all your people and the persecuted lambs and for myself, Father God, according to the promises of your word, Father God, and according to your grace and mercy and your love for me and your children and the persecuted lambs, Father God. That you care so much for all the persecuted lambs that are suffering, that are being abused and oppressed and ostracized by the God everywhere in the world through these modern day slavery programs by their oppressors, controller handlers, Father God, everywhere in this world, Father God. And even for me, Father God, as I'm being oppressed by the enemy and by the oppressor, controller, handlers that rise up against me every day, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father, I ask that you will cover and seal this prayer episode with the blood of Jesus Christ and protect me and protect all your children and the persecuted lambs from children to adults with the blood of Jesus Christ to cover myself and all your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for your goodness and your grace, Father God, toward me and your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in this world. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Now I'm going to read Psalm 105 in prayer for all the persecuted lambs and the children of God and for myself as a child of God. Psalm 105, remember God keeps his promises. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Father God, I thank you that myself and your children and the persecuted lambs, Father God, that we give thanks unto you, Lord Jehovah Yah, to your son, Jesus Christ as well. And we call upon your name, Father. We call upon the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, that you make known your deeds among your people, among the people, among myself and your children and all the persecuted lambs. Sing unto him, sing songs unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Father God, I pray that you will help myself and all your children and the persecuted lambs, Father God, to sing unto you, to sing unto Jesus and sing songs unto you, Father God, for you are worthy to be praised, that we will talk of you of all your wondrous works that you're doing in our lives. I will talk of you, Father God, your children and the persecuted lambs will talk of your wondrous works that you're doing in our lives, Father. In Jesus Christ's name, glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Glory ye, Father God, in your holy name, Jehovah Yah, in the holy name of Jesus Christ, in the holy name of Yeshua Hamashima, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I pray that my heart and the heart of all your children and the persecuted lambs, Father God, will rejoice as we seek you, Lord, as we seek Jesus, as we seek you, Jehovah Yah, my Heavenly Father. In Jesus Christ's name, seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Father, I thank you that I, myself, and all your children in the persecuted lands that we seek you, Lord. Jehovah Yah, my Heavenly Father, we seek your Son, Jesus Christ, and your strength, Father God. And Father, I thank you for releasing your strength upon me and all the persecuted lambs and your children. And we seek your face forevermore, evermore, Father God. Remember his marvelous works that he had done, his wonders, I mean his wonders, and the judgments of his mouth. Remember his marvelous works that he had done, his wonders, and the judgments of his mouth. Father, I pray that you help myself and all your children and the persecuted lambs everywhere in the world to remember your marvelous works that you have done in our lives, in the lives of your people, and in the lives of others, and that you have done in my life, your wonders and the judgments of your mouth, Father God, that will remember the judgments of your mouth, Father God, and the miracles that you do from your children, that you do for me, Father God, and that you do for all people, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. 
O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. Father God, I thank you, Father God, that I, myself, and your children, Father God, are the seed of Abraham, and we have the benefits of Abraham, Father God, the blessings of Abraham, Father God. And we have been chosen. Your children have been chosen by you, Father. I have been chosen by you and accepted by you, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Father, I thank you that you are the Lord my God. And you are the Lord, the God of your children, Father God, and the persecuted lambs. And you and your judgments, Father God, are all in the earth, Father God. Father, I thank you, Father God, that you have remembered. He hath remembered his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations. Father, I thank you, Father God, Jehovah Yah, that you have remembered your covenant forever, Father God. The word which you commanded to the to a thousand generations, Father God. And I thank you for remembering your covenant that you have given to your children and the persecuted lambs, Father God, everywhere in this world. And the covenant that you have given to me from the promises of your word, Father God, and to our generations and our families, Father God, and future generations, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac. Father, I thank you for the covenant that you have made with Abraham and your oath unto Isaac, Father God, and confirm the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. Father, I thank you that you have confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, Father God. Verse 11, saying, unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance. Verse twelve When they were put when they were but a few men in number, yea, very few, and strangers in it. When they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes. Father, just like you did that. Father God, for the people of Israel, Father God, I thank you, Father God, that you are also doing this for your children and the persecuted lambs and myself, Father God, just like you are going before, Father God, us to one nation, Father God, and that you will not allow, Father God, no man to do us wrong, Father God, that you will reprove the kings that rise up against us through these modern day slavery programs for our sake, for the sake of your children, for the sake of the persecuted lambs, from children to adults, and for my sake as your child, Father God, that you are looking out for myself and your children and the persecuted lambs that are being persecuted through these modern day slavery programs. In Jesus Christ's name, verse 15 saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Father God, I thank you, Father God, that for your commandment, Father God, and the boundary that you set, Father God, for the kings, Father God, to touch not your anointed, your children, Father God, and your Christian leaders, the Christian leaders, Father God, that you have anointed through your son, Jesus Christ, and not to touch me as your anointed child of God. And you said, do your prophets no harm, Father God. So, Father God, a lot of people have persecuted your people and are persecuting your people and the innocent lambs and myself through these modern day slavery programs and the evil high rulers in these modern day slavery programs everywhere in this world, Father God have touched us with evil, Father God, and have mistreated us and did us all kind of harm, Father God, in various types of ways, whether it's overt harm or covert harm, Father God. So, Father God, I thank you that your judgment and vengeance will be released upon those who touch your anointed ones and who do your prophets harm, Father God, because you tell us in your word, Father God, touch not your anointed and do your prophets no harm, Father God. So I thank you, Father God, 
for executing your judgment and vengeance upon the ones that do mistreat your people, that do mistreat